What's going on, Monster Truck fans? And welcome to another exciting episode of Scissor TV. You could be anywhere in the world right now, but you're hanging out with us, and I thank you for that. If you're looking for intense, high-speed, miniature, monster truck crashing, smashing, slipstream, drifting action, you, my friend, have come to the right place because we have another exciting adventure in Hot Wheels Unleashed 2. So, before we get into this high-speed monster truck action, make sure you're subbed to the channel, ring that bell for notifications, and smash that like button. But enough talking, let's get into the action, so let's get ready to monster! What's going on, Hot Wheels fans? Welcome to part three of our Hot Wheels Unleashed 2 Turbo Charge playthrough. If you remember last episode, I think we just defeated a Scorpion, and we're on to our next race, and of course, we're doing it using nothing but the best, our favorite monster trucks. And here's one of them right now, it's Bone Shaker. Two, one, go! Oh, what a great start for Bone Shaker as he's getting plenty of boost and going right in front of Race Ace. You love to see, oh, what a jump. That's what I was saying. You love to see these monster trucks racing against one another. And if anyone's wondering, this is an elimination race. So that means if you're in last place, we're gonna say, see ya, to you every single time that timer goes down. All right, and that was our first elimination. Big, oh, 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 did you see that? Bojanger just got bumped off mid-air from the track. Oh my goodness, and Bojanger's in last place. He needs to hurry up. He's got eight seconds before he's eliminated himself. Two, one, oh, that was close. Thankfully, Bone Shaker was able to get up to ninth place before that timer went down. Oh, and him and Race Ace are doing a little bit of rubbing while they're racing. We're coming up to another elimination. Oh, and that was Race Ace and Time Attack. Seal! They're gone. We are down to only five racers left. And Bone Shaker is doing a great job. Oh, Devastator and L Supercar. Seal! They have been eliminated. Canyon Carver, we're gonna seal! Cause you, my friend, have been eliminated. I tell you what, Bone Shaker is doing a great job of staying in first place, and there goes Carne Asada. Seal! Three racers remain with Bone Shaker in first place, ATV in second, and bump around in third. Bone Shaker looks behind him. It looks like there's plenty of distance between him and ATV. I think he's going to be taking home a win. Oh, and he does. Bone Shaker says, see ya, to all of the competition. Bone Shaker in first. We've got Bump Around in second and ATV in third. Those are your winners, ladies and gentlemen, as we level up to 10. And look at all that stuff we won. That's... <laughs> wow, we've got all sorts of cool stuff we can use in the garage to upgrade our monster trucks and a little bit more coins and some experience as we are about one third of the way to 11 already. All right, our next race is going to be in the museum. And we're gonna be using Race Ace for this one and oh, who do we have up there? Is that Tiger Shark and Bone Shaker? It looks like we've got at least three big old monster trucks in this race. You love to see it. So 
much speed as we race around the floor of the museum. Oh, boxes going everywhere. Some nice big air race aces. He was almost flying. Oh, and it looks like second place, the Walk Super Silhouette Nissan is giving Ray Ace a run for his money. Oh no, he got caught in the spider web and that allowed him to be overtaken for a short amount of time. But Ray Ace is back in first place, buddy. Well, maybe I spoke too soon as that Nissan just keeps fighting and trading first and second with Ray Ace. Race Ace is doing his best. Whoa, getting knocked hard by that Nissan. Oh no, he missed a checkpoint. Race Ace, you gotta go back, bud. Oh, that is going to hurt as Race Ace was pushed back behind there. Looks like he's nudging Tiger Shark out of his way. Some big air. Oh, oh, oh. Barely, barely makes it onto the track there. I thought Race Ace was going for a tumble. There is so much speed going on now. We got motorcycles, we got cars, we got monster trucks. You get it all in a Hot Wheels race. Oh, and Race Ace just tried to bump Nissan off the track, made contact, but didn't quite put enough momentum behind it. A beautiful drift around that corner as Race Ace takes first place, but like we've been saying this entire match, uh oh, here comes the spider. Oh no, Race Ace once again drives right into the spider's webs, which slow him down. Oh, and now we've got two more cars on Race Ace's tail. Oh, as he drops the third place, here comes the rest of the pack. This is getting difficult as Race Ace is falling between fourth and fifth place. Smart move on his part to cut that corner as sharp as he can, and it allows him to take first place back. Here we go, big air in front of the T-Rex. Oh, and a great move, a great jump, and some big air in the museum. All right, Race Ace looks behind him. He's got a bit of a cushion as we go into the last lap. Oh no, he did it again. You have to go through each and every one of those checkpoints, otherwise the lap doesn't count. Big air as Race Ace is in seventh place with eyes on third. All right, it looks like he's mustered his way into second. Now he's in first, great job, Race Ace. Mustard, huh? I guess I could have said ketchup. Ha <laughs> ha! Condiment jokes. And Race Ace is by himself on the museum floor, looking behind himself. Oh, why he catches some air. Looks like he's got a little room to breathe as he's trying to finish up this last lap and take home the first place goal. Another tight turn right near the Velociraptor. That means I think we've got that big air coming up soon. Yep, here it goes. Oh, and expertly. Did you see that, boys and girls? Race Ace used his bump boost to come over so he didn't miss a track. And here we go, baby. Race Ace, let's go. Your first place winner. Race Ace coming in first, we've got Small Car in number two, and we've got Hot Rod coming into three. Those are your winners, ladies and gentlemen, as we get 500 big experience about two thirds of the way to level 10, and let's see what we unlocked. All right, we got some more coins and even more experience. That is gonna push us over the edge to level 11. Awesome. I tell you guys, one thing I love about this game is I feel like we're constantly being rewarded for what we do on the track. 
Oh, and there's a skill point and an upgrade kit that we can use to make our monster trucks even faster. All right, we're going back to the Dinosaur Museum and we've got another race and this time we are back to using Bone Shaker. Three, two, one, go! All right, this is going to be an epic race, guys. As you can see, it's one single long lap. Bone Shaker is up to the challenge as he's getting that boost on the magnetic track, trying to drift into each turn, but having a little bit of a hard time overtaking his competitor. He's in third place with eyes on first. Oh, and there he just overtook it in the turn. Beautiful drift, looks behind him, waves goodbye and says, I'm gonna get some big air. Oh, knocking over some crates and boxes as he drives underneath the couch, hitting that checkpoint and continuing on his way, hopefully to a first place finish. All right, and that is 50% of this race done. And Bone Shaker is doing quite well, if I do say so myself. First place ain't nothing to be ashamed of. It's pretty good. Looking behind him, Bone Shaker doesn't see anyone in his rear view mirror as he drifts around that corner perfectly, picking up some boost, some more speed, Knocking over some boxes, oh no! That's okay, he caught the edge of the track, got a little turned around, but is that, is that like a giant bat? Did you guys just see a, yes, it's a giant bat. There's a giant bat on the track, who left that out there? All right, anyways, Bone Shaker is about to finish and let's see, first place baby, let's go, Bone Shaker for the win. Once upon a time in a museum and Bone Shaker is your window, ugh, your winner, <laughs> followed by those two other guys. And that's gonna be 500 more big old experience. All right, some more coins, XP, and a little bit more of the Dino Museum track if we wanted to go into the track editor. All right, and moving right along into our next race, we'll be taking it to the mini golf course. And this is a time attack. We'll be using Hot Wheels Demo Derby. And remember guys, it is just us, the track, and the clock. Let's see what we can do. Go! All right, and we can already see that the unleashed time is one minute and 34 seconds with a goal time of one minute and 39. Obviously, Demo Derby is going to give everything he's got and hopefully put down that unleashed time. Now, just like most races, the key is speed, but it's especially important when we're doing a time attack because we don't have to worry about any other racers. We just have to get from point A to point B as quickly as we can. And I think taking that turn that sharp was a genius move on Demo Derby's go. All right, he's making good. Is that that bad again? Oh, did you, did you guys feel that? It was blowing Demo Derby back. He lost all sorts of speed from his big old bat wings. Getting knocked around with golf balls as we go through the back of the course. And here's this big bat again. Oh, and I can feel that wind. Oh my goodness, barely letting us pass. But Demo Derby is quickly getting that speed back, going around the loop-de-loop, -loop, going upside down, inside out. He's got it all. 
hitting that boost, and it looks like it's gonna be close, and yes, Demo Derby completes that goal time. We love to see it. Your winner, Hot Wheels Demo Derby. Oh, and we got some coins, some experience, and we leveled up to level 12. Wow, it seems like just yesterday we were level one and now we're all the way up to level 12. And we got some more coins and more experience. That, that was a lot of experience. We're almost level 13. All right, looks like we're gonna be taking it to the arcade and this is a drift attack. This one's a little bit different in the fact that we want to perform drifts as often and as fast as we can because of that. The Hot Wheels monster trucks have asked their friend Crazy 8 if he can step in for them. And he says he's up to the task because we know those big old BKT tires that the monster trucks use aren't the best for drifting. But Crazy 8 is built for speed and built for drifting and jumping. You love to see it. Oh, look at the way he takes those turns, baby. Oh, hitting the wheel, and when you hit the edge, that's gonna reset that combo. Obviously, he doesn't want to touch the sides and wants to drift as much as he can. Oh, beautiful drift there, stylish drift. You love to see it. Oh, a quick jump over those barriers, because remember, we're not a monster truck right now. We can't just plow through those. 25 thousand points from that drift alone. Crazy A is getting a crazy amount of speed. Oh, 35,000 points. Let's go, baby. Getting even more speed coming into this last part of the turn. Oh, putting the boost on 35,000 points again. His score is over 300,000 right now. That's amazing. And Crazy 8 finishes the race in crazy fashion. And he is your winner. Thanks for stepping in, buddy. The Hot Wheels Monster Trucks appreciate your help. And we got some more coins and more experience as we're almost to level 13. All right, Hot Wheels Demo Derby is gonna be taking it to the track again. Let's see what he's got in store for us. What a great start. Look how much boost he built up. Oh, and we are outside going underneath vans, tires, all sorts of stuff. They are bumping each other around. And Hot Wheels Demo Derby has got his sights set on first place as he's in fifth right now trying to get up there with some big air. Almost missed the landing but was able to get control back. Cuts that corner perfectly and takes over first place. Let's go, Demo Derby. Let's see if you can hold on to this lead. If you keep going with speed like this, I don't think that'll be any problem. And that looks like a snake. Oh my goodness. We just drove right into a snake's mouth. I, I think the tongue was the ramp. Whew. I get the heebie-jeebies from snakes. I don't know about you guys, but ah. Uh... Snakes, spiders, bats. There's a, there's like kind of like a lot of scary animals in this game when you think about it. Looks like Demo Derby kind of lost his bearing where he was, but quickly got it back and is back on track, knocking all over, all sorts of things, but maintaining that first place. Oh, a big jump as he lands on the ground, going underneath the work van. It is so. Cool, the stuff that these miniature monster trucks get to drive on, under, and around. Here 
Here comes some big air. Oh, you love to see it. Expertly lands that, loses no speed, lands on all four tires, and just keeps missing. Oh, no, 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 get back and hit that checkpoint. Oh, Demo Derby falls from first all the way back to 11th. That shows you how skilled the other racers are. If he makes one mistake, they're going to capitalize. But he is pushing around that pack. Here we come, that snake again. Oh, it just closed his mouth. He slows down. Oh, oh did you see that? Hot Wheels Demo Derby knew that he needed to slow down and then smash on that gas and boost so he could get through that snake's mouth. That was awesome. Oh, wait. he just knocked the third place Count Muscula right off the track. All right, right now, oh, whoa, whoa, 16 Angels just knocked Demo Derby for a loop. What was that, boys and girls? All right, going into our last lap, and it's all over the place. Right now, Demo Derby's in ninth place, but he can see the first place. Oh, he's stuck under the tire of a van. Demo Derby, get back on it, buddy. Dead last place, but that's all right. Sometimes they call him the comeback kid, and I think we're gonna find out why right now. Oh, he nearly missed that check. Oh, he just bumped, bump around right off the track. Oh my gosh, bump around just went off the track and jumped back on. Did you guys see that? I think he missed the checkpoint though. Oh my goodness, Hot Wheels Demo Derby is still in fourth, and yes, Bump around must have gone all the way to the back. It's Seared Tuner and Twin Mill in second and third place. It's going to be close. Oh, did you see? The snake closed its mouth right after Demo Derby went through it. This is our last loop to loop. He's bringing it around. I think we've only got a few more twists and turns till this one's over. Great jump under the sign. I know there's a big U-turn coming up. Come on, Demo Derby. Oh, no. Runs into the wheel of the skateboard, but is able to recover. And there's the finish line. Can he do it? Come on, buddy. Come on. Yes. First place for Hot Wheels Demo Derby. It was a tight one. It was close, but there's Hot Wheels Demo Derby number one, Twin Mill in number two, and Red Corvette in number three. There is your winners as we get that experience and we go up to lucky level 13. That is pretty cool. All right, some more coins, experience, and a piece of the diner. Man, you love to see it. All right, it looks like in our last race, we'll be taking everyone's favorite fire truck in a waypoint race. It is five alarm, and let's see what he can do. All right, so five alarm has to touch each and every one of these blue canister lights. Oh my goodness, you see that? Oh, oh, oh. huge air hit the ramp, went over the rail, used the boost that coolest thing I think I've ever seen in a race. He was basically flying. Oh, and here in the arcade, it looks like we're... Whoa! All the way down the escalator. Oh my goodness, like I was saying, I think we're utilizing the entire arcade as we go right past the air hockey table, a bunch of the rhythm games. There's another air hockey table, a basketball. There's all sorts of cool, fun stuff on the ground. And Five Alarm is expertly navigating all of it. All right, he is, oh man. Oh, what was that, like five, six, seven, three sixties and he just kept on going? Oh, a nice close U-turn to start going the other direction. And that is the 10th waypoint. We've got nine left to go. One minute, 10 seconds with an unleashed time of 2.15. That five alarm is shooting for. All right, you see the way he transitioned in the air to line himself up perfectly. 
Oh, a quick turn, and that's okay. He uses boost to quickly get back up to top speed, and he is just cruising along right now. 16, we've only got three more, and right now, Five Alarm is looking good. All right, one left. Oh, no, he bumped into the, uh, the leg of the table. Come on, Five Alarm, you can do this. All right, we've got eyes on the last one, and he still has 15 seconds left. I think he's going to do it, and there you go. Five Alarm destroys the Unleash time. That was an amazing race. What a way to finish this third playthrough of Hot Wheels Unleash 2 Turbo Charge. I had so much fun. Thank you guys for hanging out with me again and playing this with me. Do me a quick favor before you leave, smash that like button and remember, be good to each other and always treat others how you would like to be treated. So until next time, we'll...